Okay, welcome back to our next lesson, and it's going to be very similar to the last lesson, but this time instead of using whole numbers with a decimal, we're going to use decimals that are lower than one. So we're saying a lot of zero point something, and we're going to multiply such decimals. And so to get us warmed up here, uh, let's talk about blood. Wow, iron is part of our blood, and it helps to deliver oxygen throughout the body. A typical grade six student needs 0 0.008 or eight thousandths of a gram of iron, not or iron, sorry, I have iron each day. How much iron does a grade 6 student need in a week? What happens if you use front-end estimation to check your answer? We, we learned that we could use front-end estimation previously in the previous two lessons to do this, but we have a problem here because it's zero, but the answer is not going to be zero, so we're going to find out how to move on with that. Okay, well, I want you to try this. You'll need a calculator and you can use your phone, your iPod, whatever you have. Um, try and copy this down so we have a 1 times 1, 1 times 2, and then the next column we have a 0 0.1 times 1, and then the other one is 0 0.01 times 1, uh, and so on. So try, I'm sure you can fill in the first column on your own, but the second and third columns you will probably need a calculator, and I want you to kind of see any patterns. And if you um, were using such patterns, if we added another column to the right, what would you use for the math, you know, the equation? Um, what would be multiplied and what would the answers be? Okay, so let's talk about this. When you multiply a decimal less than one, for example, 432 thousandths, by a whole number, the product is less than the whole number. Okay, that's important. When we multiply this, the product will be less than the whole number. The whole number, um, again, um, it could be, I don't know, I'll write an example here. 2 times 0 0.432, um, the answer is going to be less than this. Okay, that's just a fact that we need to know. Okay, you can use a place value and estimation um, to multiply a decimal less than one by a one digit number. Again, we're going to use the same strategies that we've used before. We talked about using base 10 blocks last time, we talked about placing the decimal through estimation. And again, placing the decimal through counting decimal places. And again, I recommend the, the last two, not necessarily the base 10 blocks. In fact, I will have one recommendation for this one to start. Okay, strategy number one, where you can use base 10 blocks. And we're gonna multiply 0 0.9 by two. And um, if I wanna rewrite this, I'm saying this, 0 0.9 times two, or 9 tenths times two. And I've modeled um, 9 tenths in two groups. If you count them all out, I should have 9 um, tenth rods in each group there. And just remember that 0 0.9 is 9 tenths. And what I need to do is I need to multiply them. Now, if I multiply them, I have 18 all together. If you count them all up, I do have 18 tenths there. So I'm going to be trading 10 tenths for 1 1. Now, remember, I have... 10 here, or I have 9 here, and if I take that one little guy there, that is 10, and I'm trading it up for one of those, okay? So how many do I have left over? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? And I have 1, 1. So, 1, 1 plus 8 tenths is 1.8, so we just learned that 0 0.9 times 2, the answer is 1.8. And remember, in the previous... Uh, slide it said the answer will be less than our whole number and one point is indeed less than two. Okay this time uh, we're gonna multiply 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths by four and I've modeled four groups then of those so I have one tenth in each group and five hundredths in each group okay and that meets our place values um, and 15 hundredths which is one tenth and five hundredths so what I can do is I can trade 10 hundredths for 1 tenth, okay? So um, there's five in each, so that means I can take these and trade it in for a tenth. And I can take these and I can trade it in for a tenth. So let me stick those in. Oops. There we go. So 
zero ones plus six tenths plus plus zero hundredths is the answer is zero point six zero and I I do have six tenths rods there and again I said the answer will be less than this guy okay so 0 0.6 is indeed less than our whole number okay the other way we can do this strategy number two is using estimation to place the decimal and so this time we're going to do 138 ten thousandths by nine and remember before we just took it as a whole number and we multiply it by nine, multiply it by nine, and we're going to use estimation to place the decimal, uh, which we'll we'll deal with here in a second. But uh, nine times eight is seventy-two, and nine times thirty. Remember that's a thirty. Nine times thirty is two hundred seventy, and nine times a hundred is nine hundred. Okay, so here we have two, fourteen, and we have a twelve. So twelve, four, two. Okay, now. We're going to use compatible numbers, and this is going to be a little strange, but um, these two guys kind of help us make this a 0 0.01 is our closest. It's our uh, nine, or sorry, one hundredths. And if we're multiplying that by nine, just remember that one times nine, so it's about this. Well, that 0 0.09 or nine hundredths, that's pretty close to 0 0.1 or a tenth. Okay. So our answer is going to be close to um, to this, 0 0.1. So where am I going to put that decimal? Well, I can't put it here. That's 124. I can't put it there. It's 12. So I'm going to put it right there. Okay. So I'm using estimation to place that decimal point. Okay. So 138 ten thousandths times 9 is... Uh, 1,242 ten thousandths. And again, that number is lower than our whole number. Okay. And then again, counting decimal places to place the decimal. So if I wanted to do 326 thousandths times 4, uh, I'd multiply it as a whole number, and I'm keeping track that I have three decimal places there. So 6 times 4, I didn't really leave much room here. I'm going to have to rewrite that. 326 times 4, well, that's a 24. 20 times 4 is 80, and 300 times 4 is 1,200. So a 4, that's a 10, that was a 12, right? So 3, so it's around 1,304, right? Well, remember I had three decimal places, right? So I have to place my decimal uh, with three decimal places, so the answer is 1.3. 304 or 1 and 304 thousandths. Okay. All right, let you try this one. Hummingbirds weigh 0 0.7 ounces. And I know we don't use ounces, but um, it was the only fact I could find with the decimal in it. So 0 0.7 ounces, as they're the smallest birds in the world. What is the mass in ounces of eight hummingbirds? So if you want to use estimation, you could figure that out. If you want to use base 10 blocks and draw it out, you can do that. Or you could just do the old-fashioned um, count decimal places to figure it out. Okay, so 0 0.7 is close to 1, I guess. Okay, so it's kind of like 1 times 8 in a way, so our answer will be a kind of around 8. Um, I also notice I have one decimal place there. So regardless, I'm going to be doing 8 times 7, and we know that's 56. Okay. So I do have one decimal place, so I know I have to place it there. I also um, am not going to place it there or there, because it's around 8. So 5.6 sounds like a good answer to me. So 500, sorry, 5.6 ounces is the mass of 8 hummingbirds. All right. How about this one? A mite. Ooh, gross. It's only two ten thousands of a millimeter in length. And I want you to imagine a millimeter and think of that really small number of a millimeter. How long would four mites be in millimeters? And again, I do recommend um, the estimation or counting decimal places. And I, in fact, I would actually recommend just counting decimal places. We have four decimal places here to consider. Okay, so try it out. All right, so... I have four decimal places. I'm doing two times four equals eight. Now, 
I have eight, but I need four decimal places. So that means that I'm going to have to do this to find my decimal places. So the length of four mites is eight ten thousandths of a millimeter. Okay. So that's it for our lesson. So using multiplication strategies to multiply decimals that are less than uh, one whole number. Um, and we looked at three different ways there. I do recommend just counting decimal places at the, mo at the easiest. Uh, estimation can work sometimes. It's a little bit easier. Um, so that's it. So remember guys, in life, math happens. Thank you.